Okay, we shall leave Nero Smith over here. See you later, Nero. Alright, so now we're going to do some mm, sort of pointing. It's not pointing because I'm keeping it in the main series. We're going to do obviously some other story missions later as well. We're going to just walk around and collecting these things called statues. You see, there's one right here. If we collect this, it's the Mars statue, the god of war. I think they are. Are they Greek gods, I believe? They're, um. Where is the other one? It's over there, I think. Uh, yeah, these you collect these, and uh, you can actually get a little. I'll show you quickly. Got Venus, the goddess of love. Uh, yeah, you see those pedestals over there? They're flashing things. If you put these statues on top of there, you'll get a cash, a cash bonus from opening them. But yeah, I thought we'd do this because there's not. That's obviously there's only eight of them. So there's not many. But I thought if we did this, what's this? That's a chest. We'll get that later though. That will be in pointing. Uh, yeah, but I thought you know there's not much to this to do, so we'll just get this now, just so you can get to see. A little bit of this monetary journey because it's our base of operation, so it's nice to know it in the actual main series rather than getting it later on in the pointing episode. Just so every everybody gets to see monetary journey because it is a lovely place and we'll be here more often than not. But yeah, what's this one? This one is Apollo. I believe he is a theatre, a comedy theatre, perhaps. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> I can usually find most of them on my own. But then it starts to get to, uh... ah, there's one. But then it starts to, there's always one I miss, and I don't know where it is. Diana, I don't, I th I'm not sure who Diana is. Maybe the goddess, no, Athena is the goddess of wisdom, was that not, was that not, um, that might not be, what's it called? Might not be Greek, I'm not sure, but uh, what's this? Yes, yeah, so you see here, there's some shops here that uh, are not open, they are prime real estate. We've obviously got <laughs> Nero Smith, the blacksmith there. You will say I am quite <laughs> He'll help us out. In fact, while we're here, would you, should we buy some things? Armour. Weapons. Oh, look, look, I've got some weapons. Oh, some more weapons. What a knife. Ooh, look at this. Armour. Okay, what have we got? So we can buy the next sort of tier of armour, which is the Heimerstead. Heimerstead Greaves, I believe it is. Uh, so we try to focus on just getting this. How much have we got? 4,000. So we can buy this. We'll buy that. Leather chest guard. We'll try and... We'll leave the Heimstead things for later. Until we can maybe perhaps get a full leather set. And then we'll start buying them. Maybe that's what I might do. Weapons. We can buy a Venetian falchion. Fal uh, Mercenario Warhammer. Which is a, obviously a thing. You get different types of weapons. So I think that's just like a normal sword. That one's a... Well, that's a lovely sword. That is just an, an old Syrian sword. Much like the... Uh, was it Lines... Lion's Tooth, what did they call it in the first game? Uh, that is plus one, that's one deflect. That's that's obviously minus one speed. So if we go for the old Syrian sword. Old Syrian sword acquired, good. Then we've got a new sword, we'll get a small weapon. So we afford the knife, we'll get the knife as well. That's plus one in plus two one in speed and deflect. Good, okay, we get that. And uh, we'll leave and obviously we're gonna try and buy all the weapons. Do come again. But uh, we need we need to get some more money for that. Right, so. Nope, I want my sword. So now we've got an old returning favourite, the Lion's Tooth. Was it Lion's Claw? Lion's Tooth, I think it was. An old sword from the first game. Obviously that was set in Syria, so it all works out. Right, I think we're fine, Dr. Volcano. I think we're fine for the moment. But thank you anyway if you're, you know, considered... What was it called? Ah, valued support. That's the one. All right, I thought it was in there, this other one, but it doesn't appear to be. Perhaps down further here. Perhaps in there. Maybe it's on the rooftops. I'm sure there's one near there. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm searching for hidden artifacts. I'm sure it was there. Is it on the rooftops, maybe? No, I'm pretty sure it was up here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Who's this? This is Minerva. See, I'm not sure who Minerva is. I'm uh, almost all I'm going to say for now, but uh, I'm sure there was something else about Minerva, which we'll find out later. Oh, no, this is the one I was thinking about earlier. If we jump down. Oh, by the way, obviously, as you can see, when we get new armor, we get more health squares. That's how it works. That's the bonus of getting it. And Neptune, the god of the sea, I believe. And is there one more down here? Sorry, sir. I, have always supported you. I know, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a treasure hunting. Treasure hunting brings out the worst of me. Or the best of me, whichever way I want to talk about. 
Uh, where's this other one? Is it over here? Is it up here, maybe, on up top of this thing? It is! What's this one? This one is... Uh, Pluto, which is... <laughs> no longer a planet, should we say. I don't know what his god is. Maybe the god of... Uh, harvesting? I don't know. <laughs> not too big on my Greek gods, I must admit. I used to know quite a little bit, but not, not much anymore. And I can hear it. Somewhere. Maybe. Was it not here? I think it's not there actually, it might be down near the church. I know it's near the church. Whether or not it was actually it's actually on the church or not, I'm not sure. I heard something shining there. Uh where would this last one be? How long have we been recording for? Five minutes, okay, so I'm not too long. I think this is the last one, is it not? Um, oh, I don't know where this last one is. Hold on. I'm sure it was by the church. That's the church there. So am I looking right at it? Oh, it's up there. Cool. I knew it was up there somewhere. So if we climb up here, go and collect it. And then we can work on doing this. Yeah, so this is the church. We have got a priest, but... um. I think we're going to replace the priest by getting a priestess. Jupiter statue. The big old gas giant. Yeah. I think we can, um, we'll, we'll replace it with a priestess. Yeah, we have a priestess Paprika, I think, can come in there. She's, a uh, she's loyal to the creed. You now she's been, she's been a member of the channel for a while now. Right, okay, and if we climb up here, we shall go and collect some money. Because that's the whole idea of this. As you can see, I was, the town is a bit run down. If only we had some money and some time to sort of upgrade it and renovate this place. If only, eh? But anyway, okay, so here's a pedestal. If we put the statuettes on there, please. And you see, we'll open it up. And that must be from our old ancestor. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was his grandfather. So like our great, great grandfather, as, as in Ezio. I think that's, um, who built the villain. He said he was a secretive man, so he obviously has lots of secrets. Okay, but anyway, let's uh, view this. Mars and Venus. The god of rage and strength basks in his lover's radiant beauty. She tames his anger with her gentile touch. Aww. <laughs> so we pan around the the back side of the statues in more cases than one. I think we got them all, didn't we? I think we did. Anyway, place statuette. Who is this? This is, after we collect the money... How much do we get? Is it 2,000? 2,000 is not bad. And this is... Diana and Apollo, together but never touching. One sleeps while the other rises. Yet both watch over us. Oh, okay, so is that like the... The, the goddess of the moon and the goddess of the sun and stuff like that? Like, What is it? Is it Greek? Where um, one of them travels across the, the night sky and the, like, brings across the... I'm going by Hercules logic, by the way. Uh, where is in a chariot, and the chariot pulls across the sunlight and the dawn and the evening and stuff. This must be Jupiter and Athena. Was that Athena? No, might not have been. I'm sure it's Jupiter anyway. Minerva. Ah, here sits the king of all Olympus, and besides him stands Wisdom, the guide to his rule. I didn't think Minerva was Wisdom. I thought that was something else. Anyway, Minerva. It's got a spear. I do like a good spear. Good spear is a good weapon. It's like it's like, a, it's like a, the guard guards the realm of the guards the realm of men. Anyway, that's that done. I didn't know it was Minerva. I always thought it was something different, like uh, Diana or something like that. Anyway, play statuette. I might be wrong though. And that's Neptune and Pluto. Oh, Pluto's the god of the underworld. In Greek, oh, I thought that was Hades. I think it's different. I think one of them might be Roman, actually. I'm not sure. All right, statue press there to examine. Neptune and Pluto, two brothers rest here. One one resides fathom, fathoms deep, and the other the end of time. The end of time. Um, I'm sure. I'm not sure which which one this is. I think it's Greek. But uh, Pluto... Not Pluto. I thought it was Hades, actually, so it might be Hades. But maybe Pluto is Hades. I'm not sure how it works. But uh, Hades, Neptune, and Jupiter are all brothers. And it's just... I can't remember why... One is above the others. But I'm sure that was true in this case. Right, okay, so we can go inside here, which we'll do later. We can also speak to our, you know, mercenary here. Hello, Mr. Mercenary friend. Hello, sir. 
Come, let's see how well you fight. Yes, and here we can do moves. So you can see we can do some of these to actually uh, thing, but we don't need to do these. I, I know pretty much what to do. Arch types, you can see you can practice against the weapons we find. Special moves, we can buy some special moves, like ranged weapons, long ranged, two handed, pistol. Don't know what we get a pistol for. But you can see we can get some of them, but we have to pay for them, but we don't have money and all this stuff. And we can also do free fighting. Well played, my friend. Indeed, yes, but we'll be back there later to sort that out. We won't do that just yet. Okay, I think we're done. We can go inside here now and carry on. We can also do something like that, that wall over there with the codex pages on it, but we'll do that later. First, we'll go up here and speak to Maria Auditore and see what we can do. In fact, we have got to do a glitch mission, which we'll do before we finish. Hello, Mummy. Ezio, oh, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Just gotta have a little faith. And also we've gotta keep them feathers away from those evil people trying to clone little Tommy. Right, you can see here, if we do this, we can bosh. There we go. They're now safe. No one will clone our little Tommy and make an evil clone. Isn't that right, Maria? Okay, we'll let you carry on. Right, okay, so now I think we're pretty much done. We can just carry on going now. I've uh, been to see Nero Smith. Dr. Volcano we've done as well. Yes, okay, let's... Uh, we can do some pointing and some feathers and some treasure maps, like I've said here, but uh, we'll get them later. In fact, I don't think we can get treasure yet because we need a map which we can't do because we don't have an artist. There we go. So we'll have to come back later to that. But let's go and see if we can't see another old friend of ours. Our, one one could say our closest friend other than Little Tommy. They're probably about about equal level, depending on what game we're in. I think in Assassin's Creed 1 he was the main. He, this one was probably bigger than Little Tommy, but... Uh, we'll see. He, he, was, he was an old friend of mine. He was very loyal. He was one of the best damn little things I could find. It was, of course, a horse. But you're not him. Where is my beloved horse? I have travelled all across Italy. And I can f not find my, my black horse. My, my, my dear friend. He don't know where he is. Perhaps he's treating me mean to keep me keen. But he's a horse. I doubt he knows that. That's close, but that's not quite him. Or her. I don't know what gender. I don't know what gender that my horse is. Anyway, so I have decided to, instead of walking, uh, or just taking any old horse... I'm going to be stubborn and refuse to cheat on my horse with uh, another horse. I'm just going to walk my, all the way into, into the, the, the place I'm going to. You know, the uh, you know the doodad. The place that's called where we're going now. Mission start. Goal. Target. I don't know. Anyway, to Tuscany and San... I can never say this. Gimangiano. No. Jim... Ijanano. Gimigiano? Perhaps? San Gigi... San Gigi <laughs> San Gigi... Jim... Ignano. San Gigi Mamo. <laughs> San Jim... Ignano. San Gigi Mano. Did I do it? Jim... Jim... I might have done it. San Gigi Mano. <gasps> I did it! Jan, San... Jan Gigi... Jan Gigi Mano. <laughs> damn it! I said it once. I can't do it again. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <gasps> nope, you're not him. You're not my horse. You are a chestnut colour. I should give you a name anyway. I guess I should call you a... Uh, Teed. Teed, yes, Teed. He likes that. So it sounds a little bit like Steed. And it's got T in it, so... Your your, your name, Teed. So we've got three horses. Or Clove, which is the doppel grey one. My one, which is a... Uh, well, we'll find out when we find him. And uh, then I've also got a teed there as well. Did I say clove? Yeah, I said clove. Glove. Clove. 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 Right, anyway. Oh, she's, she's she's doing a bit of harvesting. Wish I could help, but I am unfortunately not a farmer. I'm an assassin. It's too, a good job it's not too far to walk, actually. It's just up here, it seems. So we'll go up here. We'll do this. We'll do the deed. And then do it. Right, okay. But before... We speak to Uncle Mario and uh, little Tommy's team of mercenaries. We shall uh, go.
go into the database and get the blowdown on our target. People, targets. Vieri Di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family. This kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Okay, Vieri de Pazzi, day of birth, 1454. Profession, noble. And our second target. Very well, Uncle Mario. Tell me what I should do with little Tommy's mercenaries here. Speak. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? No, first we must wait until the, the dead of night. What goes around comes around. Help Mario and his men assassinate Fieri di Pazzi. I thought these were little Tommy's men. They were his mercenaries. There's one right there. Except. Alright then, Uncle Mario. My time has fallen. Let's go. See, I would... I would ride my horse up here, but I don't have him. He has disappeared. I can't find him. I can't find him anywhere in Italy. I suppose he's got to come from England, hasn't he? He's got a, he's got a way to travel. It's taking his time. But I suppose we're going for stealth anyway, so I should. So I should, uh, obviously, walk on my own. All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Al attacco! Charge! Into battle! Right, okay, so we're waiting for them to be... Get yeah, I was going to say... I suppose we're going for stafe. And when I was... I said, I was saying when I was... There we go, they're just distracted. When I was looking for my horse... I did poke my head around this area and I found two people that are carrying money I'll talk about that later when I find one and I found a pickpocket which I had to obviously tackle to get my money back which I'll we'll, we'll talk about it more when we find it but I had to do two of that just in case you're wondering right okay let's throw a knife Good. there we go it's a ranged weapon good said that <laughs> It's just, it's chaos. But okay, let's open up the gate and help out Mario. Oh no, he's coming through. But we've got the lion's, the lion's tooth. Time to take a bite out of ya. Come here, you. Got to help out my Tommy's mercenaries and Uncle Mario. I'll help you, sir. There we are. How, how are we doing? Are we done? Mario, I think we're ready. Oh, he's got a good sword. He's got a, is that an axe. He's got an axe. Come on, we're ready. You can go in. Well done, Ezio. We're in. This way, men. Following. Follow Mario. Lead the way, Messere. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? I'll I'll signal again soldiers. when you should follow. Instead, he's turned us into nursemaids. And why? Shooting his mouth off again, no doubt. Angering the wrong sorts of people. And so now, we pay the price. Careful. Or do you want to strike before him like Bernardo was? Poor bastard. 
I heard Vary took his eyes. I'd like to keep mine. So let's end this conversation. Okay, so now we've got a, f a handful of Tommy's mercenaries here. So we're going to go in. Okay, you ready, guys? I hope Tommy has trained you well. What? Yeah, you were trained by an eagle. Got a problem with that? All right, come on, let's go take them out. Okay, first off, why can't I? I swear I could assign a sign where these go. Okay, I guess I can't. Listen well, I also have overstock from my brother's forge at very attractive prices. Shh, Nero, we're a stealthy. Right, okay. Huh. I'm with you. And the rest. Okay, go, mercenaries. Fight for honor and money and whatever you fight for. Glory of Tommy. Slits his throat, there we go. And the rest. There we go. <laughs> we're right, we're right there. Yeah, if you haven't tell, I'm doing an extra episode this week because. Hey, why not? And, um, going a little bit further because we haven't finished yet. And the rest. Go on, team. They're trying to stab me in the back. Go on, team. For Tommy. And the other one. Quick, help, out, help your brother out. And there we go. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. That was just a test to see if you could block it. You failed. <laughs> you failed. Tommy has not trained you very well. We should have to go back to the drawing board. Or perhaps you didn't expect it. Right, I led you off. Right, come on, continue on. I think we're going to meet... Uh, what's, his, what's his name? Uncle Mario, are we? Oh, I can't. I keep thinking I can... I keep thinking I can swap to my throwing knives from that. Oh, wow. Wasn't ready. Come on, team. Help me. There we go. You're a bit slow. No, yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good kid, good kid. I know. Well, at least he's got a beard as well, like me. He's got a beard. Okay, keep on going. <laughs> Let's just try and stab him in the back, but it didn't work. Okay. Fight him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, okay, we need you there. <gasps> What's this? Quick, mercenary, explain yourself. What happened? Ezio! Your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Come, mercenaries. We must go. Uncle Mayor is in help. He's in need of help. He's not help. Ouch. Go, team. Oh, now we're, now we're notorious. And now they're going to run. They know, how, they know how deadly I am. Nice. Come back. Come on, team. Fight him. Fight them. Help Tommy's mercenaries out. That's it. Nice work. Nice teamwork. I'll go this one. You go over there. Ah, Nippo. There you are. It seems my plan is something of a snag. Vieri's men ambushed us, and now we've got our hands full. My brothers and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See that justice is served. Oh. Oh, you're coming with me, mercenaries. Okay, let's go. In fact, how are we doing for help? Okay. Right, thank you, Dr. Vergan. I think we're fine at the moment. I was going to see if we need help, but I think we're alright. Right, how well can you climb? I think... I think Tommy uh, taught you how to fight, not actually do parkour. So we'll have to we'll have to leave you there then, guys. If you want to, if you can catch up, then obviously you can help me out. But I'll leave you there for now. Thank you for your assistance, anyway, Tommy's mercenaries. We will call upon you in the future if we need it. We'll stay notorious because it suits our, you know, breaking and entering into the San Gigi Mano. Did I get it right, Gigi, Gigi Mano? <gasps> I think I think I got it right. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I definitely got it right. I think I'm going the wrong way. It is over there. Okay, good, go. Jump across. Don't forget, and play. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo. Your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble. 
Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Vieri di Pazzi, your life is mine. Go, team of mercenaries. Fight them. All right, okay, so where is he? He's up there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go stealthily. Mario can handle them, and of course the team of mercenaries are quite adept at fighting and protecting themselves, so they'll be alright as well. Right, so we'll go across here, we'll sneak up behind him. I think we can climb up there. Huh? Huh? Hopefully they won't see me on there. Huh? Huh? Right, it's time to settle an old debt. That fight at the beginning of the game. Or well, now. Okay, how are we going to do this? I think if I'm not careful, you will just spot me. Get him! Ah, there you are. Yep, thought so. Stealth is impossible. That's dealt with your guards. Now what? Try to do a quick step on you. Uh, I said try and do a quick step. All right, punch you instead. Oh, we've got some more bodyguards coming in. I'll deal with them as easily as I dealt with the other ones. Get over there. There we go, stab him while he's down. Punch him. Push the attack, push forward. Push. Push, 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 push. Stabbed him. Good night, Fieri de Patsy. Sleep tight. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che Brooke! Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Yes. From Fra Giocanondo. Giococododo. Was it. Anyway, knife belt acquired. Was it Gio Candando? Codex page acquired. Oh, we've got codex page. Right, okay, so we're going to leave the animus or we're going to go back to the villa? Letter to Francesco Di Pazzi acquired. Okay, throwing knife skill learned. Learned, not learned. Okay, so we'll keep going, just until we've sort of found a nice little spot to stop. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to exit the animus yet. We haven't done so in a while. Enemy analysis, agile guards. Agile guards are capable of running faster than the other guards, and will be able to catch you. Damn. Can't even run away from a fight anymore. Right, I'm going to load up. I think we're going back to the villa. I think you're not leaving just yet. Thought so. Back at the villa. Right. Uh, what can we do? What are we on? 30 minutes nearly. We've got time to read that letter to Francesco Di Pazzi, so we'll read that. Uh, let's go to inventory. Database, database. Letters. Documents. Letters. Uberta Bertie. I think that's what we need to do. What is it? Geo Gondo. Geo Gondo. Yeah, it's a shame we can't read these yet. Oh, we can read them. Ah, <gasps> good. Well, we're going to read them now, anyway. Oh no, we can't read that. Can we read this one? No. Okay. So what's this fourth one? Did we read this? We meant to serve as a record for all I've learned over the past few weeks. All right, let's read this then. This document is meant to serve as a result of all I've learned over the few, past few weeks. In the event that I am silenced and prevented from sharing it with myself, understand first that the Duke of Milan's murder, who was no mere political manoeuvre. Rather, it was out of place of conspiracy that requires far beyond forense. The reaches, sorry. Uh, recounting members in Rome, Venezia, and Forli, to name but a few cities. Attached to Noose Note is a list, or rather, the start of one, of those I know to be guilty, 
Its contents are by no means complete, but I intend to rectify that shortly. I can, however, say with certainty that the Patsy family is involved. We must move quickly to question Francesco before he buys the freedom from prison. Doing so will surely add more names to the list. I already have my suspicions as to who these men are. Given that their deeds here are the hallmarks of an old enemy, I fear they... The note abruptly ends here. Giovanni, Giovanni must have had to stop and hide it when the guards showed up to arrest him. Wow, I didn't realize we could read that. Okay, and the one from Fra Giogondo. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Ah, Fra Giocondo. So as you can see, he must have suffered from some sort of... Uh... Um, not mental disorder, but you know, you know, like you can get like um, like you do things to be liked, or you you uh, anxieties and stuff like that. He must have suffered from that, and obviously just wanted to be approved by his father, and he was away did it. So he wasn't that evil. He was just seeking, he was just seeking the love of his father. Right. Anyway, are we done? Uh, is there anything else we can do? Uh, I think we're pretty much fine at the moment, aren't we? We've done the story. Do we do the next one? Uh... Checking DNA. How are we doing? Let's get So we've got one more mission in this section. Yeah, I think I think we'll leave it for today, and we'll do some pointing now. So uh, we've actually got a place to sit at all. Where's that little courtyardy bit? We always have to sit down with some sitters. There, look, some sitters. I think that means we're going to end it from now then. Oh, what a day I've had, sitters. I've killed the Eri di Patsy. I've uh, become established in my base of operations, the Villa Auditori. And uh, I had a long time searching the whole of Italy for uh, for my horse. Oh, that's a nasty coffee. You probably get that scene. Dr. Uh, Dr. Volcano's over there. He's got a nice little shop set up. He can help you. Oh, anyway, sitters, I'm knackered. I'm going to have a little note. I'm going to have a little nap now. Night, night.